Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. My name is Kathy. I welcome each and every one of you, new and seasoned friends. We are here with a Flip It Friday on whatever day it is I'm posting this. I'm still calling it Flip It Friday because that's what I call it. <laughs> and I just received in my P.O. box the latest release from Mystery Colors, Amazing Animals, Color by number, this is printed by Centennial Family. It does say it is on display until 6-27-22. I have not seen this for a while in the stores, but to be fair, I rarely go out shopping in stores. Prior to subscribing, I received it, or I received it, I found it in Walmart. Um, I know other seasoned friends have told me they found it in grocery stores in various spots. So if this is something you're interested in, I'm going to do a flip here, which includes full spoilers. So if you do not want to see the spoilers and you are just curious about what the cover and the theme is for this quarter, now you know. Otherwise, stick around and we're going to dive in this a little bit further. So I have, as I just mentioned, have subscribed to this. I did a two-year subscription and I thought my subscription lapsed now. So I was kind of surprised this came, but maybe this is my last one because I was getting the notices to renew and I just decided not to because number one, what do I keep saying? I'm trying not to buy more. Um, and I think I have so if I, if it's quarterly and I subscribe for two years, that should be eight books. I have not finished any of them. The ones I finished was the one I, the very first one I found and I bought at the store. So I have the ones that I've subscribed to and I've maybe done one or two pages in them and I do enjoy them, but I have lots of books I enjoy. And since I don't reach for these very often, I need to work on that, but I just thought, no, I have enough. And so part of it is, so it's a mystery color. You don't know the page. I'll get into that, but it's a mystery. I don't know the theme. And to be honest, some of the themes they've had are just not my thing. They seem to be very heavy on nature type pages and themes, which nothing wrong with nature themes, but um, you get a lot of animal excuse me, a lot of animals, a lot of plant life, water, and yeah, I wish they would do more. They have done like a Christmas one, which I missed, and then they now have that released as a compilation book on Amazon. So again, it's your own personal choice, but yeah, I was just like, I almost wish they would come out with some, just like a random one with patterns or um, you know, buildings or people or just more variety, um, other than the nature heavy, um, themes again. But if you love that, you're going to love it. But those, that's the reason I chose not to renew my subscription unless it auto renewed. So as I mentioned, this comes quarterly and they have a new, well, not new. He's been doing it for a while. The, um, sorry, I'm showing an answer already but I told you I was going to. Eugene Smith is the current illustrator. Joe Bartos had illustrated as well. And if you look on Amazon, the compilation books, I think have Joe Bartos his name on them, but I know the last one, the Christmas one that came out was a compilation of Joe's and Eugene's work. So I can tell you having done both that his, Mr. Eugene, his work is a lot more detailed. This is not for the faint of heart or the um, faint of sight. Is that a word? Because trust me, I can barely see half of these. These are extremely small spaces. You may have large areas. So like here, you can see on the bird, this is a pretty nice chunk of... Um, color to do this band, but can you see how many little pieces take that up? So you need to be able to like kind of discern where your numbers are going to change. So I just like to say that for people. There are, I think, is it 31? 31 pages? Let me look. I should know this, but I forget. I thought there's 31 in here. Maybe we'll run across it. They do have a standard color palette that is for all the pages. 
So these are, and it's a pretty basic um, standard set that I have never had a problem finding colors for. I've had the problem of like running out of my browns, greens, and blues because in nature those three colors are very prominent. But um, any marker set, pencil set should have the standard colors. There is a mix of horizontal and vertical pages. Here is a horizontal and these are things I like. So the horizontal page obviously goes like this way and then all of your numbers are orientated this way. Forget there's someone like a bigger color by number company that does, oh, the French Disney books or the French coloring books. Even if it's a horizontal finished image, they have it orientated. So when you're coloring, the numbers are still this way. So it's just interesting. So this one, you definitely need to turn the page. And then the other nice thing is they have your color palette on the left of the page or the bottom of the page. And it is also orientated and they only list the colors you will use on the page. So not all 20 are listed. So I like that. And then here we'll switch it and you can see now this is a portrait page and the same thing. Now the numbers are orientated this way and your colors are on the bottom. So the other interesting part is on this one, it's missing. I'm not sure where they put it. But um, so when you're coloring this side, there is a little fun fact listed on the page on the left. So it kind of gives you a hint as to what this animal is. And some, well, I'm not going to say, but some you might be able to see and maybe not. I'm not sure how great the lighting is here, but um, yeah. So like I said, I do enjoy them. They're just teeny tiny. So we are now going to full on look at the answer key. So um, the reason I like to show the answer key is because this isn't, I mean, it's not super expensive. Um, it's $8, $7.99 US for um, newsstand price. And I think you save a little bit if you subscribe. Again, I'm going to put the link to the website where I subscribed to it. They do have a couple other um, magazines, books, whatever, but it was pretty easy. And I had just gone, they, there's not one in this month. Usually there's like the little insert and I had just gone to the website. So it's pretty easy to subscribe to. I think Amazon also has it listed because if you didn't know Amazon, I'm sure they just work with all these companies, but you can subscribe to your magazines through Amazon. But I will put the info if you're interested in subscribing. And then, um, yeah, I like to show the answer key because, again, some may not be your thing and some may. So let me get myself situated and let's zoom in a bit. Okay, that's a bit lot. Got to adjust because the, you know, camera with a bajillion lenses. So maybe this is too close. Is this too close? Are you guys scared by these animals? Let's see if I can pan out just a little bit. There we go. So we got just the the width of the page. So I'm just going to work your way down. So on the answer key, it's it's kind of just a thumbnail. Um, okay, well, it's bigger than a thumbnail, but you're not going to be able to see extreme detail, which again is same with like the Creative Haven cover by number. They give you the example. So, but you should be able to get the idea if you're struggling to see like where a color goes, but it shows you what the end result is. And then it lists the page number of the coloring page and the animal. So you got your top row. I'm not going to like identify all of the animals for you. I'm just going to show you, but look at that. I love it when there's a kitty cat. And then also you'll notice here this giant parrot, okay, or macaw, sorry. Let's zoom out a little bit further. So just to like the way they filled the page, the layout, this macaw is the same size page. It's not like it's a double page or anything. It's all the same. It is just for display. For some reason they chose to enlarge that one. But okay, let's zoom back in. Look at our kitty cat down to the flamingos. Now this is educational because I know I've seen these fish in aquarium, but I didn't know they were called the discus fish. Reminds me of high school track. Not that I was in it. Okay. And then this 
I absolutely love. I may have to do this one this month because I love monarch butterflies. And yeah, and that is, yes, my husband snoring now in the chair. So we're just rolling with it. Hopefully it's a calming noise for you. Okay, sorry, I know I'm bumping the table. So there we have, oh, just a nice little goldfish. Then the next page, work our way down. Now here we go, I'm not big on insects, but it's a beautiful insect. So this one actually, even though it's animals, I like that it's a mix of aquatic and um, mammals and insects. So that makes it interesting to me. And the colors are actually very amazing. Okay, not a snake fan. Ooh, I thought that was a wood tick at first. Um, so yeah, there's kind of a nice mix of animals. I don't, I don't dislike this book. I'm actually glad whether I was supposed to get it or not. They're very, very colorful. This is better than the Jungle Animals book is the one I've actually finished. I'll put a link to that. It's a ways back in my playlist, but I did complete that one. And if you want to look through that, that one was a lot of heavy of green and browns. But here we have, so just working my way down. But aren't the colors kind of impressive? I love bright, bold colors. So these animals are my jam. And this guy, that's my, my resting work face. That's what I look like for the 12 hours. Every time the door opens and someone comes over to me, I'm like, really? You need help again? <laughs> Seriously. And if I haven't seen my um, stylist, I may have that much of whisker hairs. But, you know, no, I just saw her last couple days ago. So I'm, I'm waxed and fresh. <laughs> And I think that is it. Yes. <laughs> People are like, oh my gosh. So there you go. This is probably a quickie for me. I usually don't have under um, 15 minutes, but I just wanted to show you the flip through of the latest mystery colors. It is the amazing animals and yeah. Now, you know, if you see it, they have another which looks very similar, but it's called Relax in Color. And I've spoken about this before. I prefer that book or that copy magazine. It's the same thing. It comes quarterly, but they don't always have a theme. It's usually, it's, it's a mix. It's people, it's animals, it's graphics. It's a, a real nice mix. Whereas these aren't bad. I think maybe I got burnt out because I was trying to finish it. It was one of my 10 books to finish in 2021. So if I just could pick this up and do a page every now and then, I think they'd be fine. But I was like, Ugh, now which animal do I have? So anyway, okay, friends, I'm going to let you go because I think you're amazing. And my new little pun is I think you are utterly awesome. So <laughs> in case nobody has told you lately, you are amazing, you are beautiful, and you matter. And, you know, if you need to, like, go give them a pinch and say, why haven't you told me that? You do it and tell them Kathy told them. Say, hey, you need to remind me how wonderful I am because it's easy to doubt ourselves and question how great we are. I know I've been um, having those thoughts actually quite a bit lately, so it's nice to hear it. And as I also sometimes say, sometimes there's nobody around to tell us that. So just look in the mirror and tell it to yourself because you need to hear it. Your heart needs to hear it. Your soul needs to hear it. And then I think if we hear it long enough, we actually will start to believe it. And that's, that's the truth. So don't believe the lies. Focus on the truth. You bring value to this world. Thank you, friends. I love you. I'll see you again soon.